Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bot here with a very late night no vlomo. Um, my video from yesterday didn't upload properly, so I'm just making up for it now by recording one on the fly. <laughs> so, um, mostly I was talking about yesterday was playing Tragedy Looper with my friends. So we got in the first beginner scenario. Uh, a friend of mine had run the first scenario once and played the second scenario and later he realized he was running the first scenario a little incorrectly so he was happy to kind of use us as uh, the next set of people and hopefully be doing it correctly. Um, we died right away so we restarted the loop and then we died the next round and we restarted the loop and then we hung on to that third and last loop for a really long time. So once we got to the fourth and final day, we died officially and ended the game without winning. Um, I can't wait. I'm going to run a two-player for myself and Brian and try and get all the rules down so we can start getting into like the meteor, wonderful parts of this game. Um, we followed that up with some games of Mysterium, which went over really well, was very fun with friends. I finally got to be the ghost, which is cool. Um, so tonight we went to the EMP Museum to run the game lounge there, and we brought Mysterium, and it literally never was never empty. There were just always people playing it, which was cool. Um, that same game lounge, we played a lot of Camel Up. I taught one group of people, the alchemists. Uh, we played parade and pairs. Paul Peterson actually came by and played pairs with us, which was cool, even though he had to be on a plane really early the next day. Um, so that was very neat. And then in other cool news, I hit 400 subscribers, which is a number I never really thought I would hit. So I'm kind of over the moon about that. I was really excited to see that, and I was more excited to kind of hear from people that they weren't surprised, which was neat. I, I honestly started this channel not knowing what to expect, so um, 400 is, that's a, that's a lot of people. So if you're watching this and you're subscribed to me, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, if you watch these regularly and you're not subscribed, that's cool too, I guess. <laughs> uh, mostly I know that these vlogs are they're, they're shorter form and they're not as uh, evergreen it's not a review of a game it's not something you can look up all the time so you're following me as I do these and that's really important and cool to me because uh, I make it a point to you know keep up and talk with you guys and keep up with the internet as it goes so very neat stuff um, I mentioned on Twitter this morning that I might try and do a giveaway. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to trying something like that. I'm a little worried about how to do it. I'll probably go through Rafflecopter um, and make it some sort of like, oh, okay, you subscribe to me, you get an entry, and that whole thing. Um, I'm not overly concerned about making people like work for it. They don't need to, you know subscribe to me forever, but it would be nice to get some interaction and some validation and to send out something cool to someone. So the only problem is I'd probably want to custom choose the game for the person, but I'd probably get a better response if I just chose a thing that was desirable and then let other people decide to share that or not. I like game recommendations. I like picking stuff out for people, but... Um, if Casey wins, I have to send him my die that's in Chinese in that drawer over there. Um, but other than that, I may just throw something into the package if I, if I know the person that wins. Um, and so <laughs> that was the only other part of this that kind of got me was I mentioned doing a giveaway and a lot of people were like, oh sure, just exclude your friends and only do people you don't know that are from online. I was like, but... I'll be honest, like, all of my friends I know online. There, there's not a lot of people I have in my everyday life. There's uh, less than five people that I interact with regularly that are just in real life and not online somewhere. So excluding people that, you know, are my friends, you're all my friends, and you're all important to me, so I don't think I would want to do that. 
if it ended up being my neighbor who won or something or someone I see every week, then maybe I'd have to do more than one giveaway. But I wouldn't feel right like saying, oh, okay, I'll just not give anything away to anyone I've interacted with in a way that I would consider friendship. But online is weird and it's always been different, you know, for every person you have to decide are those friends or not. And they, you guys are all my friends. So if you want to be friends with me, that is the way to do it. Um, that is your late night Maggie rant. I'm going to go record my number eight in my top ten now and delete, delete, delete all the videos I've done so far today because they're so bad. Um, all right. Bye, guys. I'll see you after the PTQ tomorrow. Bye.